All right, guys, what's up? Henry asked for a tour of the boat, so as a result, we are about to do a, uh, a tour of the boat. Um, let me flip the screen around, that way you can actually see what's going on here. All right, so as you guys know, I have a 1974 Tartan 30 um, that I've been trying to refit, uh, and I've been doing uh, some sanding and work on the boat. It's a little dirty at the moment. I'll step back, that way you guys can see the, uh, the whole boat out of the water. Um, we moved it down from St. Simon's Morning Star Marina. Uh, we lived on it for about a year. Um, and now we, uh, we have moved off of the boat. That way we can do some repairs. Now, one of the things that I struggled with um, whenever I was looking at buying a tartan was the location of all of the seacocks. Um, and seacocks are essentially just holes at the bottom of your boat that take in water either for coolant. So in this case, this is the coolant seacock for the engine. It takes in seawater to keep the engine cool. Um, this is actually not a seacock. This is an old uh, water uh, speed device. You know, the water would spin this impeller and give you a, uh, give you a, a knot reading at the helm. Uh, this is the seacock that I believe takes in the water for the, uh, for the head. This is the seacock here that discharges anything from the head. We've got some putty in there right now. Uh, because that actually needs to be replaced. Um, this is the exhaust. That's actually not a seacock. That's just for the exhaust. That's the location of your um, seacocks and through holes on the port side of the Tartan 30, or at least the location of the seacocks on the uh, 1974 Tartan 30. Um, this here was also a speed uh, sensor. So that is not a seacock. And then you have one more seacock over here, and this is actually for your uh, your uh, your sink for your, in your galley. Um, that will discharge any water from your sink. Now you do have another hole on the bottom of the boat. Um, this is actually above the water line. This white here is our our water line, and that is your your bilge pump discharge. So any water that gets into the bilge, whether it be through a rainstorm or a wave. Uh, your bilge pump will discharge that water right there. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the outside of the boat. I'm doing this on the fly. I hope you guys uh, bear with me on any um, bad footage here. This is uh, being done and shot with my phone. Um, today what we're going to do is we're actually going to fiberglass this in. I'm going to sand this down um, and fiberglass in this engine mount. We mounted an outboard on the back of the uh, back of the boat we have plans to get the inboard running so the outboard will just be a backup this tartan 30 has a helm so underneath this cover um, i actually have a steering wheel a little sonar unit and that is uh that is nice to have but whenever they made these boats they just had a tiller attachment so you would attach a pole here a tiller and you'd be able to steer back and forth um, as you can see the boat needs paint um, it needs some teak work, and that's why we're uh, that's why we're in the hard. That's why we're on the hard. Um, here's our anchor setup. Your anchor locker is down here. Um, beneath this, you remove this cap, and that's that's where your your anchor road goes into. This is our roller furling. It spins to wrap up the cell. Um, yeah, it's a mast head sloop. And the reason it's called a masthead sloop is because the the uh, the sails will actually go all the way up to the top of the mast. Now you've got several winches. These I got covered, so you got two here, and you have two on that side. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's the general gist of uh, of the exterior of the boat. So I hope you'll pardon the mess. The boat is a little messy at the moment, but on the other side here you can see. Um, you've got your windows, you've got some storage over there, um, I've got a clock, a barometer, that's the battery charger that you're looking at. Um, we're about to do some fiberglass work on that engine mount, like I said, so we've got the fiberglass gear prepped, cool table, um, messiness like my shoes, fire extinguisher, uh, another fire extinguisher. Um, that white box right there is for the AC unit. That's where you control and turn on and off the AC unit. This is your galley, little two burner stove. This was put in 
um, after the fact these turns I do not believe I don't think they come with this um, obviously your sink you know some more storage and then obviously some more storage on the other side and uh, these panels here uh, drop down those are doors um, and you've got more storage behind there um, so that's our AC breaker panel and then over here we've got our DC breaker panel so direct current off your batteries and then AC off of your shore power system um, let's see what else you know we got some cool little things over here let's see what, what do we have for you Henry we've got an old air horn um, let's see we've got our handheld VHF radio so it's nice to have the handheld whenever you're up at the helm at the steering wheel um, and also nice to have a, a, a built-in VHF that has an antenna that goes all the way up the mast um, this is an EPIRB e device uh, a location beacon in case anything ever goes south I had to tape the latch shut because it kept wanting to pop off um, but yeah we've got flares and some other, other little things in there that's my kind of a catch-all drawer at the moment um, moving forward We've got some cell bags stored underneath here. This is your closet. Um, that's kind of what you're you're working with as far as closet space goes. We've got towels down at the bottom, uh, clothes up top. So kind of a, a small closet. Um, you gotta have gotta be a minimalist with this. Uh, flare gun. Um, let's see. There's these vents um, that take in uh, wind or air. Uh, from the from scoops up out on, on top of the boat on the deck um, and those those scoops i just kind of funnel that wind in i'm sorry about the uh the focusing here of the camera this is the head um so you got a little sink uh, a little light there a little mirror um shower head it's a bit outdated um but yeah this is uh this is your head a little pump nothing fancy um moving forward further forward you've got your v-berth so the chain locker for the anchor or the road locker whatever however you want to call it is directly forward of the v-berth you can open that door and tend to your line um, and again that goes and exits out of the deck uh, you got a light over here more junk you know um, you've got more junk over here and yeah another light so that's it it's old she's old you can tell she needs some uh needs some work you know these these port lights can be clean and, and polished um, of course you can open up your your top uh and yeah so this is the uh the interior of a 1974 tartan 30. she's a bit messy as you can see um but you know she was home for almost a year and yeah, uh, I I liked it. I enjoyed it. Now, I thought it was a pretty cool experience. These open up, and you can access your bilge. Um, you've got your bilge pump down in here, wiring and other miscellaneous things. Uh, your stuffing box. You got a shaft log, what they call a shaft log, a hose uh, in the back towards the back. Um, that I'm going to be replacing. But let's see. Is there anything I am leaving out? I don't believe so that was a pretty uh, pretty quick random off-the-cuff tour um, if anyone has any other ideas for videos they want uh, to see let me know right now I'm in the process of sanding the bottom of the boat and I'm getting time-lapse footage of that I'm gonna try and get time-lapse footage of the whole refit and uh, hopefully put together a cool little uh, five-minute video or so um, that kind of just speeds through the, the whole refit um but that's it guys that's uh that's the tour of the 1974 tartan 30. um they're solid boats they were overbuilt um a lot of people would say um if you can overbuild a boat um and they're just they're more solid than a lot of uh a lot of new boats uh they laid on the fiberglass thick um but she's uh she's my baby She's a, she's, a, she's a woman in my life, and she is high maintenance. So if you're thinking about getting one, know that it's, it's an old boat, you know. Um, and they're, they are going to be a project boat, as you can see. But again, um, this is the, uh, the interior. I hope this, uh, hope this is everything you guys wanted to see. 
And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy.